Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's Friday, we are at Dollarama. So I need to return my headlights and I need packaging tape to do it. And we're looking for some stuff here. I don't know what Gabby's looking for. Sophie needs a new cord for her phone. I'm gonna need a new cord soon. Uh oh. Yeah, Sophie's you know broke. The, you know that part? Yeah. Mine's starting to split on both sides down that part. Oh really? Yeah. Starting to split? We need to get a new one then. Let's read it. What does it say? How long is it? Three meters. Three feet. Three feet. That's not very long, is it? So you look for a long one. Look at the one on the bottom. Are they longer? I think they're all three feet, Sophia. They're all short. Sophie likes to read from her bed and play on her she phone from her bed. Play on her phone from her bed, so she needs a long cord. I don't see one here. 91 centimeters here says three feet. There you go. 91 centimeters, three feet. Ten feet? Yeah, but not an apple. Oh, not an apple. Well, I mean, you can probably find an apple one. Maybe there's a reason why you can't get a ten foot apple cord. Oh, those are cool. What are they for the car? No. Oh, your phone? <laughs> phone stand, windows. Suckers. Justice League. Justice League. Just stand up your phone. What's better, Justice League or Marvel? Justice League has better powers, but Marvel. Who's stronger, Justice League or Marvel? I don't know. I have to go with Marvel because I think Scarlet Captain Beach. Captain Marvel can beat Superman. I think. Scarlet Beach beats Scarlet Witch beats Captain Marvel. So you think Scarlet Witch would beat Superman? You think Scarlet Witch would beat Superman? I don't know, it's Superman. What do you think? Do you think Marvel or DC? Found the tape I need. You want sticky notes? That's in the school section. We're in the school, the school section. section. That's right. This is the section we're looking for sticky notes. Sticky notes. What do you need sticky right notes for? <laughs> Annotating books. Sticky notes. We found them. Now there's so many of them. What do you choose? the clear ones of these. Clear ones? Yeah, they have clear ones with only color on the ends. Oh, well you're kind of out of luck then. So you either got these or those. These ones because they're smaller. They're fluorescent though. Yeah. You can get a whole book of sticky notes right there. Yeah, but those are bigger than these. How many are in that package though? Ten colors. 20 sheets, so 200 sheets. Let's see, that's pretty tiny. They're tiny, sticky tags. Tiny. What? Well, good choice. Here you go, get two of them, just in case you need more. No, I wanted the clear ones, though. The clear ones aren't really sticky notes, though. The clear ones, but then the end is Oh. Okay, well, this is all your choices are. It's that or nothing. Or well, they might have it somewhere here still. No, I don't see any. Abby's playing with a garbage bin with googly eyes. Googly, 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 googly. Pencil holder. Pencil holder. Snowballs. And they're just like puffy balls. Puffy snowballs. You can have a snowball fight in your house. What did I found? You can find, have a snowball fight in your house with these puffy snowballs. Catch. Yeah, not the whole box. Snowball makers, they got snow mold, snow brick maker, toboggan shovels. Getting ready for it. snow's coming. Mm -hmm. Found Sophie, what do you got there? Is that what you were looking for? Organizer. Didn't have the big brush, and I need this. Oh my gosh, look! A <laughs> penguin! A penguin! Penguin. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. What did you get? Sticky notes and a very hard puzzle. Sticky notes and a really hard puzzle. Sticky notes, because Gubby needs them for school. And a really hard puzzle, that's a really hard puzzle. Really hard puzzle that cost two dollars. You, she couldn't do it? Oh. Well, luckily there's instructions how to put them together. So uh, the family uh, left me alone today and I was trying to get a bunch of work done around the house. I made this little tutu. Isn't the tutu supposed to be? Well, it's not. Yeah, that's it. That's a tutu. But then why is it like... Well, I just made the string extra big so we can size it and figure out how to put it on her. Come on. 
But isn't it cute? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. That's gonna work. Well, yeah, I don't know if it'll work out either. Um, well, <laughs> Gabby in a tutu. You guys don't know, but Gabby used to wear tutus all the time. And so did Sophie. Let's see, put it all the way around. You mean when I was a baby and couldn't even dress myself? Could yeah, when I was in charge of it all. <laughs> okay, let's open it. All right, so uh, did you get this at the P.O. office? Yeah. Okay. I think I know what it is. What My is friend it? sent you this as a present. Okay, that is not what it's for. Definitely not what it's for. Macy's like, it's for me. <laughs> Oh, our our pets always get so excited. Aww. I struggle to open everything. Uh, it says Sophie and Honey. I found some of my extra mini things and thought you might like to use them. Happy birthday and congrats on your new pony. It's adorable. It's so small. I know it's adorable. So it would fit Willow too. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Okay. So it's a rope halter just like mine. And the same kind of rope as, and the same kind of lead rope as mine. And the lead rope. That one's so cute too. This is actually really cute for Christmas because it almost looks like Christmas lights. Well, you know what we gotta do now. <laughs> what do we gotta do now? Go down to the barn. Yeah, we will go down. I'm just finishing cleaning up a little bit and then we'll go down. It's so cute. I know. It's so small. I oh, know. I love it. I absolutely love it. Lady that sent this, she also has like, she got a mini last year, or a couple years ago actually, a few years ago. She got a mini and she does a lot with uh, fun things with him. Like she takes him for a walk through and through the, her neighborhood. Like she walks her mini like a dog through the neighborhood. And I love that. I wish we lived near a neighborhood that you could take your mini for a walk. Like imagine though, if you lived in a neighborhood and you could just take your mini for a walk every day. Like, oh man, we would love that. We gotta take them for a walk. It's hard to take them for walks here because to get to the road where we take them for a walk, it's all rocky and stuff. But yeah, that's cute. That's exactly the same as mine. Exactly the same. And I love that material. I love it so much. And if I don't want that lead rope today, I can use this yep. Thank you. This is what Daisy does every day. She runs out with the other dogs, runs down to the barn, and then comes back and sits at the top of the hill. <laughs> She's like, come back, I hate it down there. Come on, little girls. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Wait. Look how beautiful that is. That is Penny and Chino together. If a time ever came where I needed to separate the littles from the bigs, we could do it now. It's like Penny has her own little herd, her own little herd of two horses. <laughs> I actually love the way life plays out and how you never know exactly what is going to happen until you do steps A, B, and C. Getting the new mini has enabled us to separate the herd temporarily like they're just uh, separately for a few hours each day showed me like how we could have two different little herds like our main horses in the big field and then our little horses in the little field just things to think about because i do not know what we're gonna do or what's happening or where our life is headed well hello gracie girl <laughs> You're on a diet, but I still notice that you haven't lost much weight. Welcome to my world, sister. Welcome to my world. So the new rope halter is adorable on her, actually. I'm in love with rope halters for really right now. No, this is the middle. I love it on her. You didn't even give her a brush. She's like all full of hay. I know. Hay. I have to bring both of them in and brush both of them. All right. Well, today's the day that we're going to clean the arena. Um, I mean, clean I the barn. give her a bath because it's warm out. No, it's not going to be warm at night. It gets really cold at night, so I don't like her to have a bath. Yeah. yeah, that color is spectacular on her. And did she listen, like, really well in it? She listens normal. I know. She's just a normally listening girl. She looks good in both of them. She's a little confused on why this is... Rope. Hello, little baby. <laughs> that was her. That was her bringing and running away. Just slow. Oh, that color looks adorable on her too. Gracie's like, I want one. <laughs> Gracie, Gracie, you're the only one who doesn't have one now. Gina doesn't. 
Chino does. He has like um, a piece to go on his bridle to make it into a rope halter. But Chino, yeah. Look at where we've we been. Hey. Eh? I know. The it's, only thing I hate about her. Yeah, the only thing is she's so short. I, so we posted a Sophie's birthday haul video. Hopefully you guys got to see it. If you did, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of flack for how much this mini loves Sophie. If I mean you, I a rope to each his own. She's out here living life with the herd. Girl. She backs up so well. I know. Wow. Good girl. Good girl. Gracie be nice. Gracie be nice. So we're getting to see what Willow would be like with Sophie working with the mini. mini. Gotta have turns. <laughs> the rope halter is a success. Rope halters in every color. Mini size? So someone sent Sophie a beautiful blue one that she's saving for when she gets her new horse. Her riding horse, she wants a gelding. So she got a beautiful blue one. She backs up so well. Yeah. You don't even have to touch her chest. Yeah, she likes it. Good girl. And so now Sophie wants them in every color. And I like them. Uh, they're my favorite invention in the world. Like, I didn't even know how amazing they were until someone sent me one. So we are having our grooming time here. Sophie's excited. That's what birthdays and Christmas are so good. Because you get all new stuff. Everything feels brand new and fresh and amazing. Gracie is so good with that little mini. Holy I'm moly. Wash my brushes after this. I think I lean over both my phones now. Yeah. Except for you really have to lean for the baby. <laughs> and we're back to this. Penny's been in this field for like an extra 20 minutes without Chino, and she couldn't care less, which is so good and yet so bad. Are we ready to stop the shenanigans? Dirty again. Here, put your, put your put your face in. All right. Let's go. I think one of the things that makes Penny such a good trail horse is the fact that she honestly doesn't mind being alone. Like you guys have seen it on the trail, even in the field, she'll go out there. She's got food. She doesn't care. I think Sophie's doing a fabulous job at. Loving on both of her horses. She's been working all morning. Well, she's been working the last 20 minutes or so with Willow. She says, oh, there's my Penny. This is Honey's new tutu. She's like, I hate it. And Gracie's okay, like, I love it. <laughs> she's so cute. What if Honey wanted to do birthday parties? What if Honey doesn't get an opinion and she will do it? I mean, it's what not. Gracie won't ever leave us alone. <laughs> Gracie's like, oh, I want one. You know what? Gracie's a Barbie doll pony. She would love one, I bet you. It's so cute. Okay, I swear to God, Gracie just stood here while I put this tutu on her. She was like, I love it. I'm such a queen. I'm a Barbie doll. <laughs> she wanted it. You wanted it. Go for a walk. Oh, we got to clean that barn. Go for a walk. Go for a walk, Gracie. Right. Look how cute she is. <laughs> We're actually getting ready for a Christmas parade soon and we have to figure out like a theme and something to dress our horses up as. This is nice because it's made with elastic but it's super small so it's really light and it doesn't like hold on tight or anything. It just kind of sits there. But what if Gracie was a princess for the Santa Claus parade? You want to be a princess? Like we have, I think, I think it's worth it. I think we should do it. I love it. I think she's stunning. It is time to clean the barn and get it ready so it's all set up for winter. We have a couple of different sta stations. We have the feed station and I'm gonna figure out this and, and clean up all of our stuff. Like we had a car full of stuff this winter and it had, so I had this in my car and it was full of stuff that I needed in both barns. Then we have this section over here that needs to be cleaned up and swept and like all the blankets over there hung up and put away. And then we have this section over here which is like so super messy and awful. So we rock, paper, si right, scissors. Right you want the table? All right, you get the table. Gabby, what section do you want? I don't care. All right, you can do this. So basically what you have to do 
is organize all this stuff. Find the boots, put them in the box. These things, I love these so much and we just have never hung them up in this barn. And I know that they're meant to go in our new barn when we get one, but oh, there's just never a spot to keep them. In fact, so like one says barn, one says hey, ride, can you, can you move? and one says barn. And I love them black or even white. But anyway, that's a job for, that's a, uh, that is for our other barn. All right, so we're going to, we what could. What do I do there? Just throw everything in piles? No, you got to clean it all up, sort it all out, make it all nice piles. and neat. No, no piles. That's yes, the problem with here. All right, so I can either put the camera up and you guys can watch us clean, or we can make it into a competition, you guys, like I like to do. A yeah, a competition, and we'll see whose section looks best. All right, so we have this section here, and then the other two sections. So these are all of our Christmas decorations, and these are what we're going to be using for the Santa Claus parade that we're going in. And so I want to keep all that together. This was a lot of work, but we got this section cleaned up. It looks like a mess still, but it is <laughs> cleaned up. This is stuff we don't want to lose because it's for the parade. And this is, this is stuff. Honey's stuff. This is Gabby's sloth. <laughs> that's, well, that's my sloth, but I gave it to Chino. Oh. So it's still technically mine, but oh. Chino uses it. All right, so, so we just have a random sloth in our barn, and we can't help it. So in here, oh, Sophie, there's a ribbon there of yours. So in here, we have... This part never really gets oh, super ribbons. messy. It gets dusty, but not messy. Oh, my ribbons, because they don't fit on my ribbon wall. Oh, poor girl. Yeah, I know. Uh, so then, we got this section all straightened up. And this section all straightened up. We literally have too much stuff for this barn. We need a bigger barn. I did this all by myself. Yeah, so if you pick this section, this is all argu arguably the easiest section. Believe it or not, we even use wet wipes and wash things down. Well, they're nice and wet. So then we have our saddle pad stuff. Like to clean this barn, I actually need to go through this stuff. Like I actually need to go through because we have like a lot of, there's a lot of money sitting here and I think we could, we could do it better, take care of it better. But that's it. That is <laughs> it for now. At least we can walk in here. We can sit in here when the farrier comes. I got all that's the beach section over there. That's the stuff that we take to the beach. And I got all that cleaned up. There's a section over here that's all Sam's. Horse tattoos. Horse tattoos. I'm going to do it. I tried to do one, but it didn't really work. Yeah, that did not work. So I got to do another one. But that's it. Our barn is clean. And we are done. We are done cleaning our barn. Don't you know that you're